I think personally I'm great. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I came late. Like, am I late? Am I that late? Well, you're not so late because today we said we're going to start at 12.30 so we can finish at 1. Like in right the, so we can finish at 2. Yeah. But oh, I know okay. when the near 2, but we finish at 2. Eh? Yeah. Now. I'm not an, I'm not the host. I can't I can't share. Yes, you can or go. I just made you the host right now. I think yeah. Precious is the host. For my mm -hmm. whatever I can see, Precious is the host. I, I can see here saying host disabled the attendee screen sharing. Um try again. Try again now. Right, it's working well. Good. All right. Today, today's session, I'm going to take us through one, two, three things in concern to what digital is. Uh, I hope you guys are seeing my screen. Just a moment. Just, just a moment. Mama, tell us me, kidi. Bus my red dry. Bus kidi zeni ani fi shem shem shem. Cover. Ah, but then it's chidu mess. Okay. Should I proceed? <laughs> Let me, let me fix it for you, sorry. Put it there down. Yeah, yeah. Let me fix it for you, sorry. Daniel, can you hear me? Okango, can you hear me? Okango. Yeah. Okango, can you hear me? Hello. Can you switch on your mic. Good, good. I can, can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear so me? Maybe just yes, I can hear you. Maybe just to start, right. please let's uh -huh. please let's switch off our mics unless we are addressing the person who's uh, who's uh, hosting the session. It is common courtesy to do that. Switch off your mics. If you do not switch off your mics, I will switch it on for you. I will switch it off for you gladly. Uh, and I will not tire to do that. Uh, and sometimes right. I can be very tough. So I will switch it off for you properly. Now, Gichas and Takuto appear for me, please. Thank you. Right. Should I proceed? Yes, yes, yes. Please continue. Okay. Uh, our today's presentation is about uh, social media audit and strategy for promotion, content planning, and marketing. And uh, it's going to be an engaging session whereby, whereby if you have a question, just ask, just ask, then Rodrigo will read for me the questions or a concern or the comments as I proceed. The question is, do we all understand social media? We all understand content planning and the marketing part of it. On my in my presentation here, I'll start with the, with the social media introduction. Basically, the definition of what is a social media audit and what is a, and how do we do the audit. Social media audit is the process of reviewing what's working, what's failing, and what can be improved upon across social media, social media channels. For example, uh, you have a Facebook account, or you have an Instagram account, or you have a YouTube uh, channel. How do you ensure that uh, the, the channels are working 
towards your goal. Because the main aim of having the channel is to have an engagement, which is a goal, a conversion, which is a goal. Basically, what fails is what can be improved. And what can be improved is what can be increased as well. How, and how do you do it? Number one, check your profiles. Your name, is your name okay? Is Jay Rodrigo or Rodriguez okay? Is the name suits you? Basically, if it doesn't suit you, then it means something. There is an audit that needs to be done. I want to, I want to give an example, a quick example. Uh -huh. this, is, uh, this is my account. I want to check on, on something. And I'll, which gives a, a difference. Uh, this is my page. On top here, there is something called facebook.com slash Okango Ano. Basically, this is what is customized. I've customized my name to Okango Ano here. This is my name. This is, how, if someone searches me, probably this one will appear. I want also to give an, another example. For example, like, um, for example, I want to give an example of, uh, let me search for my, for my account. The, the first one was uh, the page. Then this, the second one, on top here, you can see Okango Arnold on top here. I've customized my name in such that it doesn't have any extension. For example, I can, I can look for someone, but you find has a lot of namings here on top here, which maybe it doesn't make sense on his or her or on end. Let me look for someone. Let me look for a rough, roughly someone on my account. Roughly, roughly, let me look for this lady here. Yeah, well, when you check here, she's Doreen Dot Van Passy, for example. Customizing it, maybe she needs to remove this dot. She needs to remove that dot. Then this one works well for her. Instead of having Doreen Dot Van, Van Passy, for example, let it be Doreen Van Passy, because the name is Doreen Van Passy, not Doreen Dot Van Passy. And how do you do it? Let me open, let me open my, my account. How to do it? Let me check on the settings, on the settings. On the setting part of it. Basically, everything happens on the back end of the settings. Now, here, here it is. It's called general account setting. The username. Username is very, very primary and key to whatever happens online. Because Google, Google happens in such a way that when I search your name, it will filter millions of usernames that are using the same name millions of usernames. Basically, if I'm Okango Arnold, there are other Okango Arnold. But it does it within 0 0.6 microseconds to filter down what happens or to filter down the kind of the names that, that appears on top. When I search here, when I search Okango Arnold, Okango Arnold, Google recognizes Okango Arnold. Number one, it will bring out all the results. It's about 3,610 results, which it has just filtered within 0 0.47 seconds, which is 47 microseconds. If your name is not, if your username is not well done on the backend, of your account, 
then you won't be ranking okay here. Okango, Okango, one minute Dennis yes. you can zoom in just touch the screen and zoom in you can see it bigger not smaller okay Dennis yell on anybody else zoom in if you think the mandishi in logo zoom in how about that that's fine that's fine right so when i search okango arnold on google i've done normal searching on google there is this thing called search console google search console which does it's like a machine it's like an engine which filters down the the names the the, the, the names related to okango arnold now here sorry here as you can see first it recognizes my blog it recognizes my blog okangoarnold.home.blog that's my 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 blog then because my, the blog is ranking my other social media channel which ranks on top is linkedin google recognizes linkedin very much because it's competitive it's competitive as comp compared to other social media accounts this is um linkedin is just for professionals for, prof for professionals but also you as a musician you can put you can sign in sign up there put everything according to who you are say i'm a musician i'm a dancer i'm a what but make it professional this one that is not related to to instagram or related related to facebook this is just for professionals then the third one that appears is facebook facebook appears here if your facebook account is not reading the correct username and i said here let me zoom in a bit oh, oh this one can't be zoomed yeah if your username is not correct then on uh, on google google won't recognize you so you go to set facebook settings then on the setting here on the username part of it you go and edit you click edit then it filters out here the user if i had read before the, the name of that lady was doreen van Passi, she needs to go and remove that dot which separates separates okango dot arnold because that seems to be because that seems to be another username or another person who is using who is the use just a similar one who is just a one person but google recognizes that's a different person ranking online becomes difficult so after putting your name or inserting your name here correctly like j rodrigo here then that's better you go and save it ensure you save it and uh, you see on my end before anything is done on my end i have to put, put a security security code i have to put a security code because that one i've authenticated my my facebook before i log in when i log in even if someone logs in it must it must assign or give signals on my end maybe that one is not what we can talk about now but it's very important because of the hacking whatever happens on a, on a, on the on the on the on the on a social media is the hacking like i remember madam helen was hacked one time and got blocked i think she remembers she almost cried here early morning it was around 6 or 7 my account hey, has been blocked hey. yeah, yes yes i'm using you as a good example not a bad example <laughs> so basically <laughs> you need to customize it whereby you have to have security and logins here 
security and logins. And that one happens in each and every platform. On LinkedIn, I have my account. And when you check here on the security and login here, here, it will tell you where, where you are logged in, which devices have been logged in. Is the MacBook, my, the MacBook that I'm using, this is the MacBook that I'm using, it's logged in and it's saying it's active. Then my phone also shows that it logged in into Messenger 15 hours ago. As you go down here. Now here is where the magic happens. It's called two-factor authentication. The authority, the authorization you give, uh, you give your, your Facebook account. Whenever I'm logged in, there is a security code that will be notified or be sent on my account if it is an unrecognized, unrecognized device or a browser. This one, I'm just, this is out of uh, the training for today, but I'm just bringing this issue of hacking. I remember my, my Instagram account was hacked. It had like 10,000 um, 10, 10, 10, um, 10, uh, followers. But it was hacked and went forever. Until then, I just don't like Instagram. I don't like Instagram at all. Even, even when I'm training, I don't refer Instagram because it's not a key factor. Even if someone needs to be trained on Instagram, how will I start? Because I have, I have lesser things to talk about Instagram. But as well, Instagram is similar to Facebook. You can integrate your Facebook to Instagram direct, directly. How do you do it? If someone has a question, to post it there. To integrate Facebook with the Facebook page with, um, with the Instagram, log in into your Facebook, your Facebook account. Then on the setting part of it, there is down here, there is Instagram, as you can see here. There is Instagram. And also, there is a feature of Facebook being integrated with WhatsApp. I'm also going to show us the same. So when I'm making a post on my Facebook, it automatically post on Instagram. So I don't need to post, I don't need to log in into Instagram. On the Facebook page here, when you click Instagram, then it tells you connect to Instagram. Get additional features to reach more of your community. Then you click connect. Automatically, you've connected your, you've merged two accounts into one. You've merged two accounts into one. Let me check. Let me check how to integrate uh, WhatsApp. This is another account of mine. On the setting part of it, you go to setting. Then you can't integrate Facebook with WhatsApp if you don't have an account called WhatsApp for Business because Facebook bought WhatsApp for Business. You have to have Facebook, you have to have WhatsApp for Business for you to ensure that you've integrated the two, you've merged the same. So let me check where it is. Here, here it is. There is WhatsApp here. For those who don't know, or for those who knows as well, this is WhatsApp. Oh, now it is here. Now you can integrate using the normal WhatsApp. 
which is here, the normal WhatsApp. And this one is for WhatsApp, the biz WhatsApp business. Once you connect your WhatsApp or WhatsApp business account to Facebook, you can add WhatsApp button to your page and create WhatsApp ads to place on Facebook. And this, this is how you integrate. Just place your phone number, your, the code, then send the code, then automatically it integrates. That's how it's done. So you have to ensure that, you have to ensure that the account that you're working on is well, is well integrated and well audited. Check on your profiles, put the names correctly. Put the, name correct, the names correctly, the bios, who you are, the bios now speaks about or talks about who you are. Let me check. Which already I, I've told, I told us yesterday. I told us yesterday, you have to put who you are. Like here, I talked about I'm a god thing, blah, blah, blah. They go to marketing enthusiasts, award winner, like that one. You can put I'm a musician, I'm a water, water dancer, and a blah, 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 whatever. Talks about who you are. That's very important because whenever you're getting a job, the first thing, and that's happened, this happens with the today's world. Before you get a job, they look at your social media profiles. Is this a person who is responsible with the work that I want to give? Is this person responsible with whatever? Like if you're a digital marketer, if you don't talk about digital marketing, then what are you going to talk about in the company that you're going to be employed? Always ensure that happens. Then know the demographics in each platform. Facebook has 2.45 billion monthly active users. 1.62 million people active on Facebook with the largest user, users being about 13 to 17 years of age. And that one is a research that has been done. 13 to 17 years. Now the age that we are in. The age that, the, 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 how do you call them? The digital, is it digital? The digital age, something like that. The dot com generation, 13 to 17. Akona, already akona, akona, akona iPhone and has access anything. Then, Check out your analytics. Already yesterday, I showed us how to do analytics. You, you just go to, all right, let me just do a quick, a quick one to do analytics. Mostly analytics is the insights, insights of a page here. Once you open your page, you'll be able to see the insights. How are you performing online? Because you can't be posting without knowing your platform. You can't be sharing content without knowing your fans. You can't be sharing your content without knowing the interest of your fan. Is your fan interested with, uh, with your gang is your, is, are your fans as, Are your fans interested with, um, with your, you being as a producer? Are your fans interested with you being as a, um, as a lecturer? Then also, the major important thing is the crisis management, which I have to talk, to about, to talk about it, which is just five minutes. What is crisis management on social media? Someone has abused you on social media. How do you tackle such a person? Someone has talked about, has talked negative about you. How do you manage such a scenario? Number one, never answer that person publicly. That's rule number one. Don't answer the person publicly. If someone uses vague name or whatever wordings, he or she uses online to criticize you, mostly the critics part of it, don't answer the person immediately. 
because you are also ruin, ruining your standards because you are a brand. Now there you are a brand. That's why I told, you, I told us, if we won't have the pages, then we're going to have crisis. And crisis comes in as, a, as, a, as like you've posted a picture of yours. Maybe someone can post a picture, a beautiful picture, but someone says, ah, no, you're wearing badly. This is not the way you should do it. You should not do this or no what. The critics part of it, yeah? What do you do? Go inbox the person, ask the, up on a humble, you have to humble. Ask the person to pull down the, the critics. Then tell the person why that photo has been posted or why that image has been posted or why that content has been posted on your, on your, on your page. Now you're speaking as a brand, not as a profile, not as a, not as a person, a person like a normal person. Talk like a brand, have that authority. A brand has an authority. Authority, authority I mean, it can speak anything that is positive to build, to the, to the building of uh, the brand itself. If your brand is not related to is not related to the management part of it, then you you are um, you are you're going you're going to you're going to get a lot of um, a lot of distraction when it comes to when it comes to building your brand. Then. No, that one, that one, I'll talk about it. Just a moment, I'll talk about it. So analytics part of it, very important. And that is the insight. You can come and export it on a, you export it on, a, on an Excel form. It filters down. If it's for, for 28 days, then it will filter, filter down automatically. It will tell you X, Y, Z is what you've, uh, you've done. Getting feedback from your audience is also very important. When someone comments you on your social media, respond to that person kindly. Just respond. If you're asking for votes, respond. And then someone says, I'm voting for uh, Jay Rodrigo. Kindly say, thank you very much for the votes. I appreciate social media is about being socialized social socialite socialization such a name on google search engine such as google go to google such a name are you appearing good example let me let me do a good example of uh helen Mtawali. helen sorry helen Oops, what am I searching? I, I can help you type it, empty. <laughs> I want to give you an example. If you, if you Google me, they even, they have talked about death. Like, I'm going to go to the next one. But I think it's, I, I call, you see that Helen to only death. I, uh, oh, I, want yeah. to give a, I want to give us a scenario here. Do you see what happens here? This is search consoles. It filters down everything that people have been searching online. Number one, someone has been searching Helen, Helen Tawali. Someone has been searching Helen Tawali's eyes. Then someone is searching Helen Tawali's death. Someone is searching Helen Tawali's songs, the biography, the daughter, the family, and the languages. That's a plus. Already, she has taken over the Google. Google. Google loves someone who loves who. Google loves. Google loves you when other people loves you. If you're not loved, then Google won't love you. Like 
these people are searching for Helen Tawali with different naming. Helen Tawali's eyes, Helen Tawali what? Maybe they want to know what, what the eye is or what is in the eye. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she'll tell us what uh, people search for. I got so, romantic eyes, happens, man. Number one here, when you check here, what happens the first one is the videos. It will display all the videos that Mtawali has been having here, on top of here. And this is, and this is YouTube, nothing else. The power of YouTube. YouTube is the, is the best Google uh, product, by the way. You have to know that. YouTube is the best Google product. That's why YouTube will always be displayed first because it is a son or a daughter to Google, it's just a product of Google. That's how it happens. Then the, what follows is Facebook because that is majority. Then there is the star, this is a blog. Kenyan Vibe, this is a blog. Standard Media, that's a blog. That's a blog, maybe. Standard Media also, Twitter.com, LinkedIn, then the photos of Helen, and blah, 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 as you go on. She has covered the first page of Google. That's a plus. That's recommended. How about you? You are the next celeb. Are you going to feature on top here of Google? If someone searches Okango Anig, is he going to get the exact Okango Anig, the first one? Because people don't spend on time on, on the internet. They'll just be scrolling. Now on a Peter too, and they pass. Nothing more. They just scroll and they pass. They don't have time for that. When they find Ellen Tawali, the correct person, they click on the person, then reads whatever they wanted to read. That's a plus. Always and always ensure your name is correct. Why do you do social media audit? Wait, I will yeah. search Helen Accord from Tawali because those are two different people somehow. <laughs> You, you, you love your name, yeah, I know, I know. Hmm? So you see, even someone such as um, Helen Akot Mtawali, also, Google, uh, Google filters down how many Helens Mtawali there are, which is there are about 2,050 results. But, our Ellen is ranking here. Yeah. You can see there is Helen Akotum Tawali from Tasca Project Fame, then Sounds Cloud, then Beatport, then Kenyan, then Kenyans.co.k, there's a blog. Spotify, there's a blog as you go on. But people know Helen. Helen, Helen Tawali, better than Helen Akot Tawali. That's what I can recommend. Helen Tawali ranks much better and the best one as compared to Helen Akot Tawali. That's what I uh, Ati? Uh, people love people love um Helen 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 for example for example like um people such as Uhuru Kenyatta people don't search Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta people don't have time to search those three names they just search Uhuru Kenyatta and it's done. All they search Uhu, all they search Kenyatta. Ken those two names are very, are very, they're known much better as compared to Mugai. You understand? The third name, 
the third name, which is Nigai, which is a cult, people don't associate with it much. Why do you do social media audit? Number one, to know your performance. And I've told us here, this is the performance. People want, you, want, you have to know your performance. Are you performing well? Are you on top of what you wanted to achieve? Number two, to know what works for your brand and what doesn't work for your brand. If you want Instagram to be your best performing uh, social media channel, perfect Instagram. If you want Facebook to be the best social media channel for you, perfect it. If you want LinkedIn as well, do something that is perfect. But also note that these other social media channels contribute to who you are. Don't say that, that me I'm a, I'm an Instagrammer, I don't do YouTube. You as a musician, you don't do YouTube. How? Is it relevant? Is it something that I can say, is it something that brings some, that's why, I, that why, that's why I always recommend post anything on any social media channel, provided it's positive. Number three, to know what are you saying about, what, to know what or what people talk about Sorry, what people talk about your service or your product that you're displaying on. If people are saying, no, you music, you're down. Go back to the drawing table. Look for what your clients need. As well, because you're a brand, you don't need to, to, to go with what they want. Because you're a brand, don't be too much of what they want. Do it differently. Have a unique selling point of your brand. I told us yesterday about Coca-Cola. It's very unique, very unique. Number three, to know the current social media trends. What is trending? So the question is, if you are not you're not on, uh, on Twitter. How will you know what is trending? How? Number one, what is trending here is ring, ringtone, Range Rover. Your Range Rover, your uh, ringtone here, you've been seeing. Then there is always uh, Thursday, Thursday thoughts or Tuesday thoughts. Then BBI is also trending. Then there is KFC. Then there is World Rhino Day. I remember uh, this is the day that Ali Kiba, Ali, Ali to that song for animals, about animals. Maybe I can look for the name. This is the day that Ali Kiba brought or sang the song about animals. This is the day. No what is trending, rhyme with it. Current thing that is trending is Corona, COVID, 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 and the post-COVID and the pre-COVID and post-COVID, whatever that will happen after the COVID thing, the COVID situation, people are preparing for what will happen next. Always be in tabs of, with what is happening at the current. I'll talk about, uh, oh, this exercise already. Maybe if someone is on, uh, on, uh, on um, using, using uh, a laptop, can search his name or her own name and tell, tell us what he or she is seeing. Are you seeing yourself I or you're seeing other people's name 
is your social media impactful or well thought on Google? That's what, that's what I need to, to know from, my, from your end. This is an exercise that uh, once you post, you post what you're seeing online, the question I'll, after the presentation now, I'll take over what you need to, you need to do. Yesterday, someone asked about, uh, about um, uh, how do you call it? She's, she's a lady who said she's a dancer. Maybe, maybe. Akauliza, if she, she needs to be on Facebook. Then I told her, yes. That's your talent. Music's a talent. Teaching is a talent. Dancing is a talent. Display it. Let us know. Because currently, Currently, there is this thing called uh, the vixen. And a, a good example, <laughs> maybe, maybe if I'm wrong, like um, Diamond Platinums. Diamond Platinum started as a vixen in the village. And that's why Diamond even doesn't need uh, dancers to dance with, the, with him. He can dance very well and perfectly. You can ask yourself if Diamond has bones on his, on his, in his waist. He dances perfectly. That's a question. If you are a musician, don't stick to music because you're just a musician and you will be singing other people to be doing other things for you. Yes, it's good. It's good uh, to to bring people to, to bring those vixen to, to dance for you because also it's a one way of promoting your music. But also, if you're good at it, perfect it. Because that's your talent. That's your talent. I'll move straight forward to the second agenda, which was social media strategy, strategy planning, developing and execution. How do you plan? How do you develop? After developing, how do you execute your brand? First definition, you have to see what is social media strategy. Strategy is just a guide or a plan of what you need to do, of what you need to be with your brand. Do you have an online presence? That is the question. Do you have an online presence? Is it making sense for you? And if it's not making sense to, for you, do you have a plan? Do you have something that guides you? After AOV, what's the next step? Are you waiting for uh, Helen to tell you, continue posting? Or are you waiting for Helen to tell you, uh, what is your video? Oh, you're waiting for me to ask you, do you always find it well on social media? Have a plan. Once you have a plan, and yesterday I quoted something called calendar. Today I'm posting about a quote, quote concerning something in music. Tomorrow I'll ask people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The other day I'll tell people to follow me on Instagram. The other day, I'll talk about, I'll talk about uh, my video. The other day, I'll talk about what I'm going to do on a weekend. Maybe something hot is cooking. Tell people that anxiety for your, for your, for your fan base, they'll be like, what is it? What is it that is coming? They'll be anxious of what is coming on Saturday. That's why on Saturday or Sunday, the weekend that you've mentioned, they will view your videos on YouTube because they've been anxious of what you want to promote. Always have a plan. There are two steps involved in social media planning. In social, in social media marketing strategy. 
Number one is planning. What is it, what is involved? It's coming up with content ideas. Ideas, generally it's about ideas. Then, then um, number two, deciding on the medium platform to use depending on your, depending on your target audience. And I mentioned earlier, if you want to, if you're good at, uh, if you're good at, uh, how do you call it? If you're good at Instagram, perfect it. If you're good at YouTube, perform, perfect it. If you're good at Facebook, perfect it. Come up with content or ideas that will build your, your brand. Then, then, always state the key performing indicators, which is the KPIs to focus on. E.g., how many posts you will do per day, how many videos you will do per day, how many posters you'll be doing, then how many guests um, you'll be having when you're going live, how many mentions are you getting? Are people mentioning your name? Are people commenting on your name? How many DMs? How many people are requesting for your music? Then, if you have, if just, if you have a question, I'll just highlight it there. I'll get it. Uh -huh. Then, choose the type of execution plan to use. If you're going, if you're not good at it, a good example is, you see a person like Diamond Platinum doesn't have time to post online. He doesn't have time to post online. He doesn't have time. What he does, he looks for influencers or the content creators. Or he, he runs an advertisement either on Facebook or on, uh, or on uh, YouTube. He advertises on YouTube. That's a plan maybe someone else can use. He uses influencers. Mostly what I know, he has bigger influencers. Him or him, himself is a, is a greater influencer. When you mention them on Platinum, that name is just an influencer. If I mention Helen Tawali, she's an influencer. That one only brings or gives me an insight outside here. Know your objective. Are you posting content just for awareness? Are you, are you po posting content just to have conversion? Are you posting the video to have engagement? Or are you doing this to have everything? Awareness, conversion, engagement. Know your objective. Number two, execution. What is involved? Number one, step number one is audit your current social media presence and create some if you don't have. Just create. Being a, every, ch every channel that you shouldn't be, you should, be, someone, someone um, won't uh, be like, I'll find you at this platform or in this platform. Document who your ideal customers is and your, your competitors. Is Helen Mutawali my competitor? If I'm a digital marketing strategist, who is my competitor? I'll mention one or two. Number one is Kemi Barrow. That one is my competitor. Moses Kemi Barrow. I'll mention Barack Onyango is my competitor. I'll mention Janet Machuka is my competitor. And all of them are influencers. Those are my competitors. I know if they post something, I'll go and analyze and see, all right, this is what is trending. This is what, is, uh, what uh, Barack Onyango is trending. Then I pick it up. That's how it's done. 
implement your objective. If you're going, if you're saying today, I'm going to get 30,000 likes, focus on 30,000 and above. If, you, if you're saying today, I'm going to get 200 comments on my post, focus on 200 comments, don't click. Inbox people, send people inbox, ask them for, vote for me. That's necessary. Step number four, create and curate engaging content, graphics. If you, Manzi, I've seen you posting pictures that are not professional. They're not even relating to who you are. Yes, you're asking people to vote for you, but you're not displaying the right picture of who am I voting for. For example, I'm going to vote for Raila Molodinga on the ballot box. But the, the name is Raila Molodinga, but the picture is Kalonzo Mstok. Do you think I'll vote? I won't vote. You are in a competition where you have to display who you are. You have to brand yourself. You have to make sure that, yes, I'm posting, vote for me. Is this picture portraying who I am? Even if it's portraying who I am, does your, is your face similar to vote for me? Don't post a picture. You're taking, for example, soda and you're asking people to vote for you. You are rich. You are rich. You are rich, automatically you are rich. You want people to vote for you, but you're eating. You're not showing that empathy that you need votes. You're not kind. I need you. I need your vote. But ask it in a polite language. The content should be polite, number one. Then the picture itself should also show that I know this person needs my vote. But you're posting your picture, your, your, your picture, walking in a rough, I don't know the roads, the trees, maybe you're climbing on a tree and you're asking people to vote for you. It's not necessary at all. Invest in a social media management tool. This one, I want to ask us to do that because it's not common for our musicians, but also it's common because it's also, it's also needed because tomorrow maybe I might be busy. I mean, I, I, might, I, might, I don't have a social media manager who manages my account, but can I just post, can I just schedule it for the whole week? Because this week I'll be busy. Use a scheduler tool to help you schedule everything because you have a content calendar. Copy paste on a scheduler, copy and paste it on a scheduler for the whole week. Then you've relaxed. The whole week you will be relaxed. You can go and swim, you can go and dance, you can go and sing, you can go on a live concert, but you know, because I don't have a social media manager who manages my account, I'm, I'm going to get something positive outside it, outside it. Right, I'm having short time. I'm having short time. I'll go direct to brand promotion. What is a brand? What is promotion, for example? What is branding? A brand, how people perceive you as an individual or a company as an individual or a company. Branding, the action you take to build a certain image of your company or, your, or yourself. I, ask, I asked us yesterday to go and watch Empire. And I'll st still insist, go and watch Empire because it's related to who you are. I recommend it because it can guide us or guide you on what a brand is. Brand identity. How do we distinguish between AOV with um, Jamnazi, for example? How am I going to distinguish between J. Rodrigo pro production with uh, Nax Studio as a producer? Brand identity is the collection of tangible brand elements that creates together one brand, e.g. a logo, 
you're going into this industry, do you have a logo to display? This is Helen Mutawale. This is A. Do you have the image that portrays? This is African online, Africa online vocalist. The bio and the URLs, etc. etc. Brand promotion, I know this one we know, is a way to inform, remind, persuade convincingly and influence consumers to drive their decisions toward purchasing a service and our brand. This is like the same way Coca-Cola does it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about, um, I know we know the method, uh, the brand promotion method, organizing contests, promotion on social media, the giveaways, even people lie. Nowadays, people lie. Share my content, I'm going to give you $30. You won't get the $30. You'll be struggling doing that. But in the real sense, you're not going to get it. Maybe one, or one person will get it. And that is a brand ambassador who the lawyer. Look guys, I left, I sorry, I'm, I left, uh, <laughs> I think it's my internet. It, it is, uh, there is a back and forth. But you can, hope, hope you can get me. I'm sorry for that. It's a uh, back and forth with my internet. Let me, oops, someone to add me as a, as a host. Is Jay Rodrigo here? Oh, oh Rodrigo Ali left. Oh. Come on, Rodrigo Ali left, yes? No, he is in, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a mute. But I can Rodrigo, just Rodrigo, toka kwa bafu, Rodrigo Rudi hapa. <laughs> I think um, basically let me, let me speak without even uh, using my nini. Let me do it practically like for example, I'm having Catherine Kiriro. Kiriro, do you have a brand that is, distinguishes you from Catherine Wangari? because we have two Catherines here. Do you have something that distinguishes between Catherine Kiriro and Catherine Wangari? That's the question. Always have something that distinguishes you from another person. The uniqueness of who you are. If you are Shem Maiga, are you displaying the real Shemaiga or you're displaying fake Shemaiga? And that's why Uhuru Kenyatta doesn't have a Twitter account up to now and is the president of Kenya. Even, even Kagwe, Mutai Kagwe, his account was, uh, was hacked and went like that. He, he went ahead even to look for another account. So the thing, the thing that happens here is, if you don't, if you don't uh, present yourself very well online, there is Aka, Aka, Helen Tawali somewhere, someone is called another Helen Tawali who might come. I think I have a look-alike, I have a look-alike, super look-alike, we look alike Kabisa. Yes, you see. If there is something that won't distinguish you from the real Helen Tawali, there is a fake Helen Tawali down here coming and he overtakes. 
Uru Kenyatta there's doesn't one, have... There's one who used to go to the Nini, to go to Kenyatta, in the Twaje Pale, Nini. Apo hivyo pali batu kwa bus station. Anasema na ito Helen Tawali, alafa na Korn, watu iba sana. She looks like me, except she's a little darker. I have found my seven lookalikes, seven of them. Wanafana mimi wate, wate kabisa. You will find, by the way, they are there. With the same name, even with the same ID number. Uh, maybe, maybe the same ID number, maybe. Because this world we are in now is so much competitive. If you can't put yourself as a brand outside here and distinguish yourself from another Helen, Mitawali, Manzi, you're down. People, people will, will always distract you. A good example I've given us is that Uhuru Kenyatta doesn't have a verified Twitter account. That one only shows that. Don't play with the social media. Don't ever. You will wake up and cry like Ellen Dawali cried to me. My account is gone. My account is gone. I was like, hey, Mtawali, say ya subu na niamusha your account is gone. Who took it? If she could have wasted like 30 minutes, that account won't be there. It won't be there. It could have gone. If she could have wasted like more than 30 minutes or less than 30 minutes, maybe that account could be there. If someone is asking, how does it go? And <laughs> who took it? <laughs> um, there's something called robots online. There's something called robots that works. The fake accounts, maybe. If you're going to create an account, which, for example, I have, like for example, I wish, I wish uh, Rodrigo could host me. I could show you how many fake accounts I have. It's just me, real me, but I have other fake accounts. You might be talking to someone, but you're thinking this is the real Okango one. It's not. If you look or you search Uhuru Kenyatta, there are a lot of Uhuru Kenyatta having the same photo, having the same name, even doing the politics things. But they are not their one. What differentiates them, the real Uhuru Kenyatta, is the verification. Twitter verifies. Twitter verifies. There is a tick that you always, you always see on, uh, on um, someone's account. There is a tick that verifies. This is the real me. I wish I had uh, the account. I wish I had to show you an opportunity to show you. Maybe I can show us tomorrow. There is a way that you can, or you can write to Twitter and tell them. Kindly verify my, my account. Pay, you pay. You pay for their account verification. Because maybe you thought like a lot of people are using my account and that there are fake people promoting fake things. Someone is asking, how can you restore a hacked account? Number one, there are three things that, uh, there are three things that uh, distinguishes your account from mine. Number one is the email, the email that you're using. Number two is the phone number that you're using. Then number three, there are things called um, the API codes. My, my computer is logged in here at Ruiru. Ruiru is in Kiambu County. Not even the password. I can hack your password as fast as possible. I can hack your password. Password even doesn't relate because before you put even your password, you always put your phone number or your email. Okay, you've said uh, changing, changing your password. If your password, I can hack your password and change it and fix it and you'll be like, oh, that one is gone. But there is something that uh, Twitter or Instagram or Facebook does every year. It's always on, uh, 
Feb, March, around March, every year, every year, they always clean fake accounts. You find your account is gone. It's just gone like that. And even if you look for it, it won't come back. Because your account is fake. And how do I know your account is fake? You can't create an account today. Then you're going to post something in, uh, in two months. I've created my account. What for? You're creating it now. What for? And you're going to post something on, uh, in December. Is it making sense? It doesn't. What makes sense is I'm creating my account today. I'm expected because I'm a normal, I'm, I'm not a robot, I'm a normal human being. I have feelings, I'm going to, I'll go and post on them. That's how it's done. So, to restore your account, an email is necessary because they'll send the code, the verification to verify this is real. They'll send the, the verification code. Even they'll choose, they'll tell you, choose between an email and a phone number to send the verification call. That's how it's done. So always keep your email, your phone number in, in contact with you. Because let me say, I lose my contact, my phone number today, and I go and change another phone number. Because I have an email which I use to show up in my account, I'll go and say, change my phone number. Then automatically it sends code to, the, to your email. That's how it's done. It shows a verification code on your email. Do you have any question? I'm also even, um, is it possible to link Facebook to Twitter? Yes, it's possible. It's possible to link Facebook to Twitter, but that icon was removed. Why was it removed? It was removed because a lot of people are spamming Twitter. You see, you can post, no, no. A lot of people are spamming Facebook. That's why, uh, that's why uh, this guy, the person Zuckerberg decided to disable uh, Twitter with Facebook. But if if you you had an account from if you had an account from 2006, 2007, 2008, and 9, and 10, and 11, and 12, and 13, then you can link up so easily. But from 2014 to 2020 up to now, you can't link up. It's impossible because on Twitter I can tweet like 1,000 tweets in a day. What does that mean? It means I'm spamming Facebook because whatever I'm posting on Facebook or on Twitter, it goes directly on Facebook. It spams. So in order to, to do that one, the, oh, the question, I, I have recently had people say that they're, my email was accessed in Eldoret, yet then in Nairobi. We assume Google made a mistake. No, Google doesn't make a mistake. Doesn't. Even if I'm logged in and I don't log off, for example, we always go to cyber and we log in with your email, then you leave it there. That's a mistake. That's now a mistake. Someone else will come and access your, 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 your will come and access your, your account. Wherever you're participating in logging in with your account, then always note that I have to log out. I have to log out to my, my, my accounts. Uh, for those going to the tomorrow, it will be an interesting, an interesting topic whereby it will be about YouTube, about the real you now. That's how it will be done. So on the, someone is asking on the page, there is an option for 
add button. What is it used and its importance? Add button. Add button means when I click add button, it will select for me three different things. Add button for a messenger. Add button for uh, for uh, for uh, a URL. URL is like a, I, uh, I want people to visit my website. I'll put it there. Or I want people to I want people to visit me on WhatsApp. The main importance is the communication. You want to communicate to your client or your customer or your fan base day in, day out. That's where when you integrate the add button, that's where your fans will be communicating with you directly. Like inboxing. It's just like inboxing the communication part of it. If there is another question someone asks, can I ask? Because I'm also heading to somewhere. Tomorrow I'll spare time for us. Helen, are you around? Is Helen with us? Oh, she seems to be out. Yeah, maybe if you have a question, you can ask on the group, on WhatsApp group. I'll be able to follow up immediately and uh, check out on which ways we can, we can uh, perform whatever we can do. <laughs> Madame has gone for a cocktail. Yeah, it's lunch time. I even it's, it has a past lunch. I've not taken lunch. So you see, the main importance of uh, having social media platform is the engagement. That's the major thing. You want to interact with your people. Social media platform is a plus for you. I want to thank us much for your, for your coming in and your sacrifice. Tomorrow is about YouTube. I'm going to, I'm going to drink YouTube today and eat YouTube, tomorrow is about YouTube. Guys, if you don't have YouTube, unaniko sea. Guys, if you don't have YouTube. YouTube na Facebook. Oh, you have like seven minutes. So come looks like we like to finish at 2.30 all the time. So we we'll leave that to yes. you. Maybe you can share lunch because I see you made a cocktail. <laughs> but I'm actually having another session at three o'clock at Roseville, so I'm going to dress up to leave. All right. Yes, but thank so, you very much. Yes. Yeah, Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa Ubado. Yeah, I'm telling them tomorrow. I'm going to do. I'm going to do YouTube. Oh, you, so you, the, you, the assignment that is in here, they should yeah. ensure that they have. Uh, they have a YouTube channel. channel. Right. Yeah. Even me, me, I'm not a YouTuber. Oh, wait, hey, me, I think I have only 100 subscribers on YouTube. You don't have to be everything. But the thing is, if you allow me one day, it might actually yes. make sense. Yeah. yeah. Prince, princess, who told you I went to a cocktail? I can't you what I'm talking Channel, see your app. Download the app, of course, you have the channel. <laughs> yeah, you don't have, not the app only the channel you have to it's have a channel. youtube channel with your name our youtube channel is africa online vocalist i hope you have visited to see what is it we are posted there subscribe to us subscribe to rodriguez subscribe to okango subscribe to each other man some people already have given us their youtubes and we have subscribed well done sawa any questions on okango are you done or you're still on the verge of maybe if maybe if they have a question they can post it. To those of you who attended each other's um, lives today, 
Wacha nione max na nadhani atakuwa amepata max mingi zaidi kushinda wengine. But the thing is we want to encourage you guys to attend each other, see what is in each other's worlds and also like our Instagram, like our Facebook, like our our online channels, you know? That's the way to go. Except now remember you are a Christian and you have a faith, you have to pray for yourself. These things can be used for bad like and good. Like a knife can be used for good and knife can be used for bad. Sawa sawa. All right guys. If we don't have anything, I think you can dismiss us uh, Mr. Okango. Right. Ah. Uh, I can't dismiss us. It's really good to dismiss us. I don't know where he went. Maybe you can call him. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think he's, he's fine. Come on, you can now. Kama yuko ni sawa tunaenda tu tu wache tu achipate yako peke yake hapo. All right. Yes, Grace, thank you so much. Bless you, Chico, bless you. Bye bye for now. Bye. Yeah. Thank you Kango and bye for now. Bye. One more session tomorrow. Question.